Hey everyone, welcome to another Jeff the IT Guy video. Today we're going to be installing MySQL on our Raspberry Pi and working with our Indeed scraper and taking the data that we are scraping and insert it into our new database. And so we're going to go ahead and work on the code and then we will install MySQL and then we'll run the program and we'll see how well we do. So the first thing you're going to do uh, here is you're going to want to import the MySQL connector. So you're just going to do import mysql.connector. Okay, next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to create your database connection. And so we're just going to say mydb. We're going to say is equal to mysql.connector.connect. Okay, you're going to give it a brace or bracket. Okay, and then you're going to want to uh, go ahead and put in all the data that's pertinent. So host is equal to localhost. Okay. And then your user. And our user is going to be root. That is the uh, base user for your MySQL installation. Then you're going to give the password. So I'm going to go ahead and put in our super secure password here. And then you're going to want to put in the database name. And so go ahead and put that in. Okay. So now that we've done that, we're going to go into our while loop. And this is where we're going to set up everything so that we can actually um, go ahead and create the variables and put it into the MySQL table. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to say my cursor. Okay, it's equal to mydb.connect, mydb.cursor. And so this sets it up for us. Okay, and then we're actually going to go down here. This is all we have to have. We're going to scroll down here and <clears throat> we're going to start with our SQL. So we'll create a variable called SQL and we'll say insert into. The name of the table is indeed. And we're going to say give it the column, so it's just going to be job and company. Okay. Company. And then you're going to give it the values, which are going to be percent %s, percent %s. And so these are just going to hold the place. All right, and then we're going to create a variable called val, which stands for values, and this is going to be equal to, this is going to be job underscore final that we created in the last video, as well as company underscore final that we created in the last video. And now we're going to want to execute this. And so this is going to be executed by saying my cursor dot execute. Okay, and we're going to say SQL and val. And so this is the code that we need. This is all the code that we have to add to it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go open up a terminal. And so once you're in the terminal, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to say sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation. And so once you type this in and select it, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, you get rid of the root password. If you want to create a new one, you'll create it. Get rid of anonymous tables if you want to have uh, to where you can connect remote uh, and then flush privileges. And so um, once you go through that, create your password, uh, hit yes to get rid of the tables, hit uh, yes to give it a new password, create your password. Um, if you don't want to have remote login, hit no or yes if you want to remove remote login and then hit yes to uh, remove the tables and it's going to flush privileges and that'll go ahead and install that and once you do that, you're going to want to log in to MySQL and so to do that, you're just going to say MySQL dash dash user. You're going to give it your username, which is root and you're going to say dash dash password. Okay, and then you just type in your password. Okay, and you're going to be presented with this screen. And as you can see, there's nothing here yet. It just says none. And where it says none, it's looking for the database. And so you're just going to say create database. 
and you're going to give it a title, which for ours is in date. And so I've already got this database created, but I'm going to go through the motions so that we can create a different database. So we'll say we're going to call this database, um, let's call it Reddit or something. You know, create database Reddit. Okay. And so the next thing you're going to say is you're going to say use Reddit. And this is actually going to put you inside of it. So right there. And if you type in show tables, you're going to see if there's no tables here. And so now we've got to create our table. So to do that, you type in create table and you give it a name. And so you could call it whatever you could, you know, call it IT or something, call it jobs, give it some braces here. And then this is where you're going to create your columns as well as their data type. And so you could say you got a column of, um, like name, and you can have a variable character or var char, and we'll say 25. Uh, you can have start date, and this is where you're going to give it a date time, etc. And then you just go through that, close it up, boom, boom. It's going to say, hey, if you haven't done this correctly, you're going to say, okay, whatever. It really helps. There we go. And so now we have a table that we've just created. And so actually what you're going to do for this one is for this table that we're going to use is you're going to say create table. If you're following this exactly indeed. Okay. And you're going to give it the columns job as a variable character of 50 like this. And then you're going to give it a company. Okay. With a var variable character of a hundred. Okay, like that. And you close it up, create it, and it's done. And then when you're done, when you've created this, you're gonna hit exit. Okay, and so once you're exited out of it, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're actually going to, if you're doing this on the Raspberry Pi, you have to install the MySQL connector differently. And so you're gonna say sudo app-install, I'm sorry, app-get, not, install python3 dash mysql.connector okay so you've got to put it in this way um for some reason pip3 won't install the mysql correctly and so you have to do it like this to get this to run and so once you've done all that then what you're going to do is <clears throat> if you want to you can remove your old scraper file and so you can just say sudo rm um, scraper.py and I'll remove it, and then to create a new one, you'd say sudo nano scraper.py, or py, right? And I've already got this code in here, okay? So this is everything that we need to go ahead and get our values in there. And so, okay, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it. And so to run it, you say sudo Python 3 scraper.py and it'll say hey my cursor is not defined and you're like what and so you just open it up you can see that it's actually not called my cursor there it's just called cursor you can change it to my cursor but where it's not cursor it's my cursor because I'm dumb my cursor has to be my cursor okay now we'll run it it says data too long for column job okay so that means that we didn't set our variable character long enough so let's go ahead and look at this and see So what we'll do is we will log back into our database. Okay, we'll use 
scraper. No delete. Table indeed. It's drop table. Indeed. There we go. So now there's no table name indeed. So we're going to create table indeed. Okay, we're going to give it the job column. That's a variable character. We'll make it a long one this time. We'll say 200 just to be safe. And then we'll say company. Get a variable character of, we'll say 250 just to be safe. We'll close it up. Boom, boom. Exit out of this. And we'll run it again. And so it's inserting the rows. So let's check it out. So we'll log back in to our database. Okay. And so I'm gonna say select all from indeed, limit to 10. And this is gonna limit it to 10 rows. And as we can see, all of our data that we have scraped is there. It's pretty neat, right? So it's pretty neat. So we'll exit out. And then if you've done this, if you've followed this guide, um, you should be pulling data and scraping it now and putting it into a database. And so in the next video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually install PHP. And then once we install PHP, we're going to dynamically build a web table, um, that takes this data, pulls it from this MySQL database and displays it on the web. And we'll do a little bit with it. So hopefully this video has been helpful. I hope you like it. Uh, if you have, leave a like, um, leave a comment. Let me know if it's been helpful, if I missed anything. And as always, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.